What's in a name? What's in a flag? Take a look at behind me, the Ukrainian flag and Veselka, a Ukrainian restaurant where it has so many customers tonight and neighbors bringing in donations for the people of Ukraine, while it's a totally different scene uptown at the Russian Tea Room. This is America. It's a name. I don't know if Russian people were from there or not. At the Russian Tea Room on West 57th Street, there have been many empty tables since Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. On their website, the Russian Tea Room renounced the unprovoked acts of war in the strongest possible terms, just as the original founders, Soviet defectors who were displaced by the revolution, stood against Stalin's Soviet Union. We stand against Putin and with the people of Ukraine. But yet out front, the only show of support are two tiny stickers of blue and yellow hearts, the colors of the Ukrainian flag, put there not by the restaurant's owners, but by passers-by. Lorraine Mark Singer did not know about this pro-Ukrainian statement on their website until PIX11 read it to her. It's a strong statement, and it's um, extremely uh, convincing. People who are like me would try to find out first what their stand was, and then go in and hopefully get a vodka on the rocks. Customers who came to support the Russian Tea Room say it was close to empty. I think people are, are punishing the people who work here. You know, I mean, they're in America. These are, you know, American people working here in a restaurant, um, and they don't deserve to be punished for something that, you know, Vladimir Putin's doing. At the Ukrainian restaurant Veselka in the heart of little Ukraine in the East Village, it's the opposite tale of a booming business. With a large Ukrainian flag out front and a line around the block, donations of humanitarian aid are coming in with diapers to clothing and food for the people of Ukraine being collected by the third generation owner of this 54-year-old restaurant. Ukrainian comfort food really brings the community together. People want to come and, and sympathize and commiserate and talk to the staff and myself and asking how best we can help and, and know that they want to know that they're here to support. And it's really, uh, it's really an act of love. And tomorrow, yet another Stand with Ukraine rally in Times Square starting at 1, and then it ends at 5 p.m. back here in the East Village with another fundraiser to help the people of Ukraine. We are live in the East Village. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.